as you can see, we have a pi over here. Um, I've created uh, arch-based rules um, to pull down Qt560 and cross-compile it for the pi and create two packages, one for your local arch install, one for arch on the actual pi itself. So I just have a regular arch install running on the pi. Um, I come over here and create launch a very rudimentary QML compositor. Um, so this thing's unfortunately running in 16, but I don't know how to change it just yet. But what's cool about this is that we're actually running a full mailing compositor, which means I can come over here to create it. And like, uh, the integration's all entirely done. So if you just use your art or some other all browsing um, package manager to install the QPI2 package, um, then this integration in Creator all happens as well. So it, it literally pulls down Qt560 beta, uh, it pulls down the toolchain, it cross-compiles it, creates two packages, one for your local Arch machine, one for the um, Arch system on the Pi itself, uh, and then actually uh, configures your, and installs Qt Creator 2, and configures the toolchain and the Qt build to be immediately useful. Um, so you can sit there, you can build these things, um, you can see the compile output from the, the build, um, and you can deploy them to your Pi. Uh, at the moment, I have to make a couple assumptions, uh, which you're either going to have to flow with, or you're going to have to change by going through these settings things. But basically, I'm expecting a Raspberry Pi uh, to be identifiable via a host name, advertised via ZeroConf, called uh, qpii.local uh, as a as a certain host name right you can set that to being a static uh, ip address so just to actually clarify this stuff uh tools options device and i automatically create this profile so if you aren't using a system like mine you're gonna have to adjust this but in any case what you have is actually something which is immediately useful to deploy uh, binary applications to the pi and to develop on the pi so if i just uh run this bad boy um, then you can see the application output and this thing is actually running and it's one single application running in a Wayland instance so uh, there's no reason why I can't this kind of thing just open direction for instance get that running uh, yeah the e compositor might be a bit buggy but at the same time I can actually go and launch yet another application Let's go see. So this is the, the stock um, browser example we have, which just shows our web functionality. Um, this is still Raspberry Pi 2, right? So the, the, the speed is not great. Um, but you can see it's, it's Wayland, right? We actually have multiple processes running. Uh, everything's functional. Um, yeah, like uh, you have Chromium if you want to use it. And then you have all of Qt available to you. And as you can see, I mean, like... Uh, the GPU at least is pretty decent. I, I do wish this was not in 16 bits. Uh, of course, uh, this dialogue you're seeing over here is because there is a cross-site scripting issue uh, with our site, <laughs> with the default configuration of the um, reference browser. Cool. Yeah, very functional.